Hello from Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are at Wanamaker's Tulsa Arms Show with Jim Sapika, director of the National Firearms Museum and the man of the hour of the weekend of the year for many years, Joe Wanamaker. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for joining us here on the Curator's Corner. Thank you, Cam. Appreciate it. Joe, we're here at your show, the world's largest gun show. But what I wanted to talk with you about is maybe for some people who have never been to a gun show, what do they expect when they go to a gun show? Well, a gun show is primarily a, a sale of guns, related items, knives, uh, accessories, and a lot of assorted other things. It's almost impossible to, to describe everything that we have in this four, four acres down below and seven acres up on this level for a total of 11 acres. Uh, well, there, there's incredible stuff here, but the thing that I think so many love about this show is that this is really a gun show. The things in here are gun-related, they're history-related, uh, military, western. It's, it's not a flea market. There are guns and more guns and ammunition and sights and scopes and gun-related uh, materials. And uh, the, the vendors are set up behind folding tables. And what kind, what kind of people are here as, as vendors? Well, we have gun dealers who are in the business all the time from throughout the U.S. And also we have individuals out here who uh, are selling their private collections. So if somebody's a gun collector and they have some guns to sell or if they've got some estate guns, they could get a table at a gun show to, to they, sell they, them? They can. And uh, the thing of it is a lot of times collectors will have to buy an entire collection to, to get the guns they want. And so they have duplicates that they need to sell. And they're not bad guns, but they just have two of them. Yeah, they're, they're not ones they need for their collection. That's it. Now, I know in addition to the sales tables, you've got some fantastic displays of historic guns here, too. What are those guys doing? Tell us about that. Well, the, uh, we have the historic guns that, that you have brought from the uh, National Firearms Museum in Fairfax, Virginia. but. They are, they are really super, like Jesse James gun. And I think you should tell about that. <laughs> well, we I'll have, tell about that. We have about 25 other displays right behind us that the public can't see because they're facing the other way, but they are beautiful displays of collections owned by individuals. Some of them are put on by clubs, but they have beautiful backdrops. All the guns are... Uh, labeled and so it's an education in itself when you walk down that aisle. You host the Ruger collectors here every November and uh, they've got some wonderful displays down there. Just great Rugers. Uh, they, uh, they always bring a lot of displays. In fact, if you notice this badge I'm wearing, it's a Ruger collector's badge yeah. uh, because they are our guests of honor uh, at this show. In the spring, we always have the Browning collectors. If somebody's got a gun that they want to bring in to either try and sell or try and find out what it's worth, can they do that? We encourage the public to bring in their guns to sell, trade, or for free appraisal. What should they do when they bring that in? They sh should go to the entrance, and we require all guns to be tied so they will not operate, and uh, we avoid many accidents that way. And uh, when they come in, they can just go to a table that looks like they sell the same type of merchandise and ask if they would like to buy it. And of course, the first rule is to be sure it's unloaded before they bring it in. You're going to load check them at the door for safety purposes and tie them to where they can't be loaded. But uh, uh, they want to be sure it's un unloaded, unloaded, but they're welcome to bring it in. Absolutely. Great, great. The other thing, too, I noticed um, uh, at this gun show and the other gun shows, too, NRA memberships. Um, there's a lot of times when you walk, uh, you get to the front door, you say, hey, you want to get in for free? Join the NRA on the spot. And I, I can't imagine how many NRA memberships you sell here at these gun shows. Well, we, we have sold over 5,000 a year. <laughs> And we let 5,000 people in free to this show. <laughs> That's incredible. Hey, how important is the NRA to you personally and to this show? Well, it's important to every gun owner because I firmly believe that if it had not been for the NRA, we wouldn't have our gun rights that we have today. And so I am eternally grateful. And I 
I, I actually hope that and wish that everybody in this room would take advantage of that offer. Join the NRA at our door and get in free. Absolutely. Yeah, this is definitely the place with the most NRA hats per capita, I would say, Jim. Wouldn't you say? And just about every other person you walk by has an NRA hat or a shirt. You know, gun shows, they're great folks at, the, at gun shows. You see families, yep. you see uh, a lot of NRA members. Great place for people watching, too. <laughs> but, you know, I, Joe, I've been, before I was working with the NRA, I came to this show and set up for 15, 20 years, and I have a list of gun show behavior that not everybody knows instinctively, but once you've been going to shows for a while, you become aware of them. And some of the things I'm thinking about are, you don't just go and pick up a gun off somebody's table. That's right. You ask before you handle a gun. Uh, you don't work the action without asking. You don't ever dry fire a gun or manipulate it. Uh, kids are welcome at this show. They're, they enjoy it. A lot of kids love this. But if you've got kids with you, you want, uh, you want to control your kids and be sure they uh, keep their hands in their pocket and keep their soda pop off the table. Right. <laughs> um, what are some other things that people well, uh, may not think of at gun about, shows? That's just about it. We, we invite families to come out. In fact, right now, we're seeing the third generation since I've been, wow. I've been working be? on the gun show. Yeah, that must be. Yeah, and, and people need to realize it's a bit of a rug market here. These prices that are marked on the guns are not necessarily cast in stone, and it is a great gun show tradition to stand there and haggle back and forth about, uh, about uh, if you're interested in a gun, you don't just put your cash on the table. No. You can say... Uh, it's like going to the car dealership. you got to haggle exactly, them down. It's exactly. And it's a, it's a treasured art. I think some people come here just for the sport of that. I don't know if they really want to buy a gun or not, but they want to, they want, they want to bargain haggle. with someone for a well, while. Well, you know, one thing, you can bring your old gun and trade it in on a new gun, too. Yeah, yeah. And guys are here. They're, they're buying, selling, trading. Some of them are commercial businessmen and I think that's something people don't realize about gun shows there have been some myths that have been perpetrated about them a gun dealer selling here has to follow the same regulations as he does in his store absolutely and we, the same law sure that. apply to individuals who are selling their personal firearms so uh, I know you're very conscientious about the uh, uh, type of transactions that go on here and but it's uh, it's uh, just th th there's not it, I'll ask you is there a gun show loophole no, that's a, a fictitious term made up by politicians. Exactly, exactly. Uh, we are doing nothing that couldn't be done just across the street off of the premises. Yeah, yeah. And you run a tight show. It's well policed. There's a lot of uh, security here. Uh, this would be the last place somebody would want to go to engage yeah. in some type of uh, illegal arms uh, merchandise. Not happening. There's a lot of uh, back and forth. There's a lot of social interaction. There's uh, uh, a lot of political talk. Folks talk about what they're interested Especially in. Especially now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's a, to me, a gun show, any gun show is a great American tradition, and it embodies some great American values. You got, your, of course, your right to keep and bear arms. You got your freedom of assembly. You got your freedom of speech, and it is a fun day uh, to go spend uh, a rainy day like this. Uh, what else are you going to do? <laughs> well, we we like to make it a fun show and invite wives and their children if they're responsible. We do ask that any child or person under. 16 to be accompanied by a responsible adult. Joe, thank you. This is a, a super show. I always appreciate the effort you put into it. And I appreciate you taking some time with us today. Jim, thank you very much. I'd like to say one word. Firearms, guns are for responsible adults only. Exactly. Thank, thank you, you Joe. Thank you.